it's called the History of Fort Hare Project. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, what is this? Sorry. Is it, what, what, okay, so say the name again. It's, it's it's the History of Fort Hare Project. Great. Okay. They're going to write a book about the history of Fort Hare. Okay, hold on a second. You said they are going to write a book. Who are they? Those they are each and every selected individual to write a chapter, each person a chapter, each person a chapter, a chapter or two, like Professor Ochella, like uh, uh, Cereza, and others. Okay, great. Who picked those professors? Are these are only professors of Fort Hare, or is this the professors any place on the planet that have mm -hmm. been to Fort Hare? All or? over. Okay, who, who's identified those professors? Let me put it there. Who are those people that's going to write the chapters? Who's identified those? Well, if there's a committee, that the committee, committee will suggest so and so was, uh, is an alumni of Forte, for instance, uh, okay. then we can rope him in to write this chapter. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, some sort of thing, well, first, first qualification you had to have gone to Fort Hare. No, not oh, exactly. Gosh, now you're confusing me again. No, no, no. I, I, I don't know about that. Okay. okay. But I just take this as I hear it. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just ask this question. For instance, let's say the former president, Tabon Becky. We know he went to Lovedale College, and Lovedale yeah. College basically is the precursor to Fort Hill. Fort Hill grew out of Lovedale College. Great. So that means they can contact Tabon Becky to say, hey, Write something about Fort Hare because he's been in the area. Because they no can contact him and say, "Hey, there's this project here. Can you can you help us help us with some funds?" Okay, now you're going to funds. Forget funds. I'm talking about the writing. <laughs> I'm talking about the writing people. You're all money all right. people. Are you interested in writing a chapter about Fort Hare? Uh huh. Okay, so now, so this book is now the the, the this uh, 2016. Is the, is the year. So is this book going to come out at the, I guess Fort Hare's birthday is like February something, mm -hmm. but is it going to come out at the end of the year, the middle of the year, the Fort in time for the thing? Is it a big launch? What's going to happen? And, to uh, and who's going to publish it? Let me ask you that. They are going to develop a University of Fort Hare Press. Well, what happened to Lowdale Press? I didn't hear that mentioned, be mentioned. So they're going to have a University of Fort Hare is going to have a publishing arm, mm -hmm. which they should anyway. Well, the first thing they need to do is publish a broadside, like a, a daily news sheet or something like that. Okay, we won't get into that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else can you tell me? Okay, now we're on the inside track. Come on, Brother Billy, tell me what else is going on here. So we got a University of Fort Hare Press is going to publish a book. Mm -hmm. That press is going to keep on going, which means that, for instance, my thesis can be published by that press or whoever. You know, whoever. Right, yeah. So, so, so I, I guess part of the strategy is to use the centenary to get things done. Part of this, yeah, that's part of it. Okay, now my last question, I think. And, oh. and that Love the Press you mentioned is part of the strategy. Oh, Love the Press is part of that. So even if they do no, start... No, not as far as the book is concerned, anyway. Mm -hmm. But I know, oh, I, I even heard from you that Love the Press is one of the projects that uh, that uh, the VC wants to revitalize. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting mm -hmm. because it's happening on a bunch of levels. It's like to, um, we'll just just between me and you. I don't know who else is going to hear this, but what's happening is the, the traditional leaders even want to love to oppress to continue to exist. So if you have the university, the traditional leaders, you know what I mean, will leave the government out of it, <laughs> or want it just to happen, perhaps it'll happen. Love the press will have a revitalization, even you if you know, do have the, a... The, this lady, your lady in government, who was this? Penny. Oh, Penny. Penny. Mm -hmm. yeah. Penny is very influential and is flexible. And is, he has, she has a passion for uh, historical mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. things, you know, heritage mm -hmm. things, so mm -hmm, to speak. Mm -hmm. So. She, Forte, by the name of Visi, Visi has identified that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as one of the projects that Forte wants to take up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the go-ahead, of course, comes from Penny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So government is in on it too, okay, yeah. fine, mm -hmm. okay. And I was asked uh, by my principal, uh, 
as to what information is needed for a building, for an example, to be to be uh, recognized as a as a heritage site. The site, yeah. And I gave her all the information, and she said there are quite a number of buildings at Forte mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that that fit their requirements. Mm. All right, maybe most of the buildings here, yeah, or Forte as the whole, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe uh, declared a heritage site. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and then that gives us some clout. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you for this information. All information. Information is power. I have to. I have to find out. I got to get on this committee because I have an idea. No, that's that's information is not power. The means to get into the information. The means to get the information is power. Ooh, that's heavy. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not going to agree with that right away. I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> like that. Okay. Okay. All right. But see, one of the ideas I have, if they're going to do this historical Love Lovedale College, there should be something that's happening mm -hmm. all year, at least with the students blogging or something or writing something mm -hmm. down about what's happening there. Whatever. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's, it's, I don't know because you want you want everybody to be engaged. You know, mm -hmm. or have or just have a, even just have a site where people can just, hey, I've been to Lovedale College and you know in the year they graduated or whatever it is, and and just send it to the site. Then you can look at that site and then take off things that you want. Mm -hmm. you know, who knows, hey? But that's me. Thanks so much.